Okay, I lost my video feed on the last. So what you're gonna do is, it's down like this after I got all the chains off, except my tire chains, okay? So what you're gonna do now is take the truck off. And uh, I'll show you the rest from there. Let me grab my keys. Big old trucks. Automatics. Make sure it's always chalked. Hop up here in my truck. On these, you don't have as much room on your ramps. You've got more room on your ramps than I do mine. That's about what you got on a three quarter ton. All right, we're down. Okay, we're down. Now, we've got a long, one long ram that runs from the front of the trailer that pushes the axles all the way up on a slide. Slide in, in between. Okay. Get your two cylinders right here, right here. Of course they're connected right here to right here and on the bottom the same way as the top okay it goes all the way back to when you get ready to get it off to right here to where this plate comes so looking at a pretty good ways then you got your all your chains and this right here is a piece of pipe about six foot long, cut in half. And it's put on top of the, the I-beam to hold the chains up on any truck. This will fit single axles, uh, tri-axles, uh, anything. And what I was telling you about the wiring was this is all the wires you've got. Wire going to the battery. wire going to the solenoid which kicks the motor on okay you've got your wires hooking up to the batteries of course two batteries okay filter and uh that's about it right there so now what we're going to do is getting ready to put my ramps back up and uh we're gonna raise raise it up put my hitch on i'll show you how that's done okay now it's gonna go up okay well, that's raising that up Okay, I'm gonna put my ramps back up real fast. Now you might get a better 
better uh, some more ramps these ramps are, are old but they've been good I've had them encased in metal they're aluminum as you can see the whole top deck is aluminum uh, except the eye beams you know uh, everything's light uh, you've got about 3 8 inch eye beam here's where this ram starts for this one hydraulic that pushes the axle starts right here goes in goes all the way to the back very simple and uh, ramps are pretty long but uh, they can be built shorter I just prefer them longer get these put up I'll show you some more Okay, next I'm gonna grab the hitch. It goes in right here. Okay, on this right here, very simple. You got the hitch, what you're gonna do is slide it in. I've got grade eight bolts. Got to have these. No galvanized. I got a pin that goes right here. We'll get that in. Okay. Now some trailers now have where they got J bolts going right here. So they connect to it and it goes right here. Um, I like this better because I know it's always tight. Uh, different hitch would be fine if uh, if you could find one or if you need get a new design. This don't take but one wrench. I use a crescent wrench. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is hook up, I'll pick up, which I use, you, I know you've got a ball. Uh, I got a panel. So uh, we're gonna get this hooked up. And on this right here, 
I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back into my hitch with it still hooked up like yours folds down uh, of course this one's gonna be stationary so uh, I'll just show you what I'm gonna do Okay, it's not completely over it. But I think it's gonna work from right there, we'll see. So what's gonna happen is, we'll come back here. I'm gonna let it down, see back in my truck going down. Then, it's not completely over it, but I can kick it. Went down. Okay. I come back here and you still see there's a little gap in between the fifth wheel what I'm gonna do on this is wait till that gap's gone then first I'm gonna take my light cord light bar everything off and I will be right back just one more. Uh, I took all this off. I'm putting a toolbox that goes back to about right here. So all the lights are out. So what I'm gonna do, what I've been doing is using my light bar because I'm gonna put a locking toolbox. It comes back to here where the light's already built in it. So uh, that's what I've got with that. Um, I run my light cord underneath so no paint damage will occur.
Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here. Put down the hood. All right, I'm over here pull the fist wheel, of course. Okay, now, everything hitches down, fist wheel pulled, everything's ready to go. Now all I gotta do is just come out of the fifth wheel with it. Okay, let's got that. Okay, now, see I'm still up in the air a little bit. Okay, all right, now what I do is that down the wheels are sliding back they slid back as far as they can go pretty much everything else self-explanatory your chains and all but that's what you got when you get done is the whole aspect of getting it done of course you got your chains and all still got to get off but uh that's the unloading process for these things right here um of course you got your lights uh got my vin numbers and all that and uh yeah you got two hydraulics two wires Uh, 14 foot trailer uh, about as simple as you can get uh, braced this is a brace this is pretty much a brace uh, you got your end cap right here then you got your end cap right here and uh the box i would make definitely make bigger have more room uh definitely make it come back you can make it come back uh as far as uh probably as far as you needed back here uh, as long as you've got room uh, or you can move it up have it moved up which should give you more room this way um but this is pretty much it. Uh, two wires, pump, little pump like this. Like you've got solenoids, um, your wire, your junction boxes, your wires running all the way down. And I redid all of this right here, all this wiring. I'll put an extra, another hose on there, like the air hose. Uh, got a roller right here because I used to haul a boom and uh, that's what this third handle is for right here uh, you got these two nipples right here on a single boom pole is uh, you hook these up and it runs off hydraulic that's what this one's for right here this third one and uh pretty much it toggle switch and uh, axle 10,000 pounds you got your uh, little grease greasing alamite right there uh, to grease it um, pretty simple uh, kingpin 
uh, electric brakes. Torsion axle, everything uh, pretty self-explanatory.